Are you ready for Windows 11? Cause it's ready for you. <laughs> yeah, boy. And Noctua is finally ready to ship out their passive cooler and Cyberpunk's ready to come back to PlayStation. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your host, Brett. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet. And in case you wanna suggest some tech news that you want me to cover here on Hot News, you can do so over on our Discord server, which is linked in the video description, and you can post it in the tech news channel. Always looking to have more community members over there, so it'd be great if you could join. Even if you don't have tech news, it's just good to chat with people over on that side. And now let's get to chatting about Windows 11 because we now have our first preview of what it's going to look and sound like because we both have the new UI as well as the startup sound of Windows 11 being leaked over on a Chinese website. This is in anticipation of the upcoming Microsoft event on June 24th in just about a week from now where they're supposed to fully unveil Windows 11, but now it is here in all of its glory and we can pretty much confirm it's called Windows 11 even though Microsoft said they were never gonna give us anything past 10 and it's horrible. What is this? Why is it in the middle? That's just the most awful UX design I've seen in my entire life, Microsoft. Why would you make it worse? You already added that like new weather thing that pops up in the bottom right hand corner. Why are you doing this? It very much is in resemblance to Windows 10X, as you can see right here, which if you do not remember was scrapped by Microsoft entirely. So it looks like they're taking some of those design features, bringing them over to Windows 11 and making it so that you have to deal with that. However, there is an option to move everything over to the left-hand side. Well, why it's in the middle as a default, just I don't understand. Don't get it. Hopefully they explain it at some point. You're also getting some new user enhancements such as the ability to snap to the sides of the screen using the maximize button. This is something that has been on Windows forever with dragging the window or using hotkeys, but now it's gonna be baked into that button right there. And I don't know if you're ready for this, but it's time to hear what Windows 11 is going to sound like. So there you have it, the first preview of Windows 11. Obviously, we are waiting for Microsoft to give us more information on why, why, and why, but we'll have to wait about a week to find out more. But we also got confirmation that it is official that Windows 10 is dying with support for it to end on October 14th, 2025. It is gone as of that point. However, if any previous transition off of popular Windows operating systems is any indication like XP and Windows 7, Microsoft's lying right here. And this will be extended until 2030 at the very least. You're gonna make everybody, including governments, adopt Windows 10 you're gonna support it for much longer than you think you're going to, Microsoft. Mm -mm. But NVIDIA is done supporting Windows 7 and Windows 8 with them coming out with their support plan for Windows 7 and 8, 8.1 with game-ready drivers, and that plan is none, okay? It's, it's done as of October of this year. You'll get like critical security features until September 2024 after that. No more gaming on that stuff, guys. Stop living in the past, okay? This is, you, you think you can watch things like iCarly and still run Windows 7. You can't do it. Move on from your future. Shout out to Quentin Reviews for dropping his iCarly in-depth binging session that I watched and I feel bad about myself for. I've never even seen the show. Anyways, that's my problem to deal with, not yours. But in case NVIDIA has a problem, wants to drop their purchase of ARM like they want to drop Windows 7 and Windows 8, well, Qualcomm has announced that they will they will step in. They'll give the cash, okay? They're looking to invest in ARM. They don't want this monopoly that NVIDIA and ARM is inevitably going to create. No, they see the value in the ARM ecosystem, in the ARM architecture, and that they're willing to pick up the price tag in order to do it, and they will work with other companies companies to get a consortium going. So please, please, oh please regulators, don't let NVIDIA do it because Qualcomm needs this to survive. So please help us. But while Qualcomm wants to invest in existing stuff, Intel's just gonna invent new things. You want a new PU to have, like a GPU or a CPU or a TPU? Well, now you can get an IPU from Intel. Likely you can't, because this is for server environment, but it is now their infrastructure processing unit, which is going to be part of their networking stack, where you're gonna use that to absorb some of the overhead from running networking protocols, with them showing that in a lot of instances in data centers, it could take up 20 to 30% to just run all of these overheads. So getting the IPU to process all of those will reduce the load on the CPU and Intel just creating stuff to 
solve problems that everybody has. Which sounds dismissive, but I'm being serious. Good linguistics, Brett. And do you have a problem with noise? Of course you do. You're listening to hot news. Of course you have a problem with noise. Anyways, Noctua wants to solve part of it, at least the part that's coming from your PC, not the hot news part that's coming from you. They, they released their passive cooler. That's the whole point, all right? $109 over on Amazon. We've got an affiliate link in the video description. If you want this behemoth, you can have it. The only issue I have to take with Noctua on this is that they talk about it potentially being semi-passive if you use the included low speed fan, which it's either passive or it's not. Semi-passive means it's active. All right, that's, you, you just, I'm gonna die on that hill. And AMD gonna die goodly. Dab on all the people who think I can speak. The RX 6600M has been tested in upcoming laptops. The HP Omen 16 is the key one that a lot of people are looking towards. And it looks like it performs about the same as an RTX 3060 laptop GPU in many scenarios, beating out the 3050 Ti and just kind of going toe to toe with the 3060 with the 3060, getting better of it in ray tracing games and in 1440p. But the RX 6600M does seem to be a good competitor to what Nvidia has on the market. Speaking of market, it's time for crypto stunks. Bitcoin, 40 grand, down 1%. Ethereum, 2,500 bucks, down 3%. Dogecoin, down 3% as well. GameStop, having a rough week, down 3% today. But if we just zoom out, it's uh, it's it's not looking too pretty from its high of being in the 300s. AMC, however, continuing to climb up 3.5% on the day, closing at nearly 60 bucks and blackberry hitting at nearly 14 dollars closing down 0.4 percent crypto stocks kind of moving in the middle right now amc continuing that upward climb but we'll see if the mother of all short sales actually happens amc to 500k are you ready for the moon my friends i don't know just just let me know in the comments and is cyberpunk ready for playstation well cd project red says yes and sony says okay yeah we'll let you back on the store on june 21st but with the key announcement uh that users will continue to experience performance issues with the ps4 edition sony recommends playing the title on a ps4 pro or ps5 for the best experience just give them six months and they don't fix nothing they had a lot going on, all right? Somebody leaked their source code. They had to deal with like, you know, work place, you know, environment issues. It was, CD Projekt Red's had a rough time, friends. And Razer's had a rough time getting out a futuristic cyberpunk mask that you can wear during the pandemic, which a lot of people may be wanting, but for the kind of conversation that I'm seeing around it with regards to what's going on in the United States is that it's a little bit late because a lot of us are already vaccinated. So we don't need to spend what is likely going to be around $200 if I'm just taking a guess on this audacious RGB mask. Like, this would have been cool a little while ago. Now it just appears to people who go to raves. I like the idea. It's kind of cool. I don't think I would ever wear it in public. And there's a certain like price point threshold at what, like at some point it gets too expensive. I think that for me is $150. I wanna know what your price point is. What At what point does this mask become untenable in your finances? I'm sure plenty of you are gonna say it's like 10 bucks because you could, you're just gonna wear the paper ones. And then there's, I'm sure there's people on the opposite side who say they'll pay whatever price to have razors drip on their face. Not that kind of, drip is apparently, according to Zoomer culture, a, a word referring to clothing appearance. I've learned this on the internet and you didn't learn it from my messages, at least in Google messages, because they are now out of beta with end-to-end -end encryption without happening, just out of beta. It's not, it's not a thing. Good job, Google, proud of you. And you guys should be proud of Apple because it's come out from market research that Apple has shipped double the amount of laptops and desktops from the year prior, increasing 111% year to date, whereas a company like Lenovo only increasing 73%. Obviously, a lot of this spurned on by the pandemic and people working from home, but a lot of that also likely being brought on by the fact that the M1 processor is a revelation in Apple's lineup. But apparently, good design is not a revelation in Apple lineup because there's reports coming out that the iMac is crooked. This is uh, being brought to light primarily by the YouTuber iPhone Do or iPhone Do or the iPhone Do. I watch his stuff. I don't know how to pronounce his channel name. Anyways, he uh, found that his iMac was crooked. As you can see here, plenty of other users who have received theirs have reported the exact same issue, had to send it back to Apple, now have to wait till the end of July to receive their units back because people are just buying these things. So let me know. 
Is your iMac crooked or is your head crooked because you were dumb enough to buy an iMac? <laughs> Got him! And did you get an Intel NVIDIA GPU? You might in the future. Why don't you check out Monday's episode of Hot News right there where you can find out about the NVIDIA and the Intel GPU RTX 4080. See you tomorrow, friends. Cheers. Mm -hmm.